Good morning, everyone. Tony Ross here. Welcome to the joy of painting. You know, one of the things I like to do uh, when I'm thinking about going camping is I like to paint the scene of exactly what I think I'm going to see. So if you'll join me today, we're going to spend a little time painting, getting in the camping mood. We've had a little snow, but this will give us the opportunity to really get into the springtime mode. <laughs> ready so we're going to use a little permanent black I've got some raw umber I've got some green and I've got some yellow okra and a little bit of white so join me now as we start to do this now remember as always there are no mistakes there are just happy little accidents so we'll have a good time doing this we'll have some fun but just think about going camping and let that spirit go with you so we're gonna put a little tree here. We're just gonna paint our tree in. We'll make it an evergreen tree because, you know, they never really get nasty looking. So just as we paint through this, we're gonna just stick this little, little hedgy looking tree in here. And of course, you know, you always have to have water and keep your brushes clean because that, that's always important. Keeps the colors from mixing together. So we're gonna do that. Use a little smaller, kind of a fantail brush here. These are all available at your local supply store, but we're gonna put our tree trunk down in here. Make it look kind of pretty. And maybe we'll frost that with just a little bit of snow, just for, just for the highlights. We'll add that, and we'll keep going. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a little bush that kind of hangs out next to the tree. You know, our campground here at Walnut Ridge is absolutely beautiful, and these are some of the types of scenery that you'll see while you're here. So, we'll throw our camper in. You know, one of my favorite campers is uh, is a hideout. Keystone does a wonderful job building the, the, the hideout camper, and it's just such a nice little camper to take your family camping in and, you know, get out and actually see all the things that you like to paint. So that it'll give you some, some fun times, maybe a, spend a little time around the campfire and making s'mores and, and uh, all those little things. and. It's just really a lot of fun. Okay. Gonna add a little white here just to kind of soften things up. You know, I hope you're thinking about where you guys like to go camping and and the kind of things that you like to do with your family and and. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna put some little windows put some little windows in our camper here and you know one of the things that I like to use is just the back of the brush you know again there's no happy little accidents so we can just kind of scratch in on our canvas we're gonna we're gonna roughly scratch in our doors we're gonna soften that down a little bit here and I'm I'm kind of making the the, the background is more of the hideout, so we don't really want it to, to really stand out because what we want is, you know, we want our scenery to be really first and foremost in this. So I'm gonna use a little wider brush. That'll let us kind of break down everything. We're gonna kind of stick some greenery right in front of our hideout. And what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm, I'm getting some, some paint on my brush and I'm just kind of, tapping it at the bottom and pulling it up and that way it kind of softens everything down and get our camper in here okay. 
Maybe add a little bit of water just to kind of soften things down a little bit. And maybe one look, one more little tree here. This one's going to be just a little bit smaller because, you know, you got new trees and old trees and everything all all hanging out together at the campground. So, put our little now kind of scratch in some little little branches. Add a little white just to highlight it. And we're just going to add, we're going to mix a little bit of this titanium white, a little bit of our green, and maybe just a touch of the yellow okra. What we want to do is, we're going to kind of give us that, that almost evening haze as the, the sun's starting to go down. We're just going to kind of brush in our sky up here. We're going to kind of do that in a, in a crisscross pattern because we, we, we really want to see the flow of the way that the sky and everything is just kind of rolling in and the sun sun's starting to set. But you know, as always, you can do it, you know, add as much or as little detail as you want. And anything that makes your painting exactly what you think. And, you know, I hope you enjoy, you know, hanging out with us here at the, the Joy of Painting and hanging out with us here at Walnut Ridge because, you know, it's just such a good time. So put this in here and then maybe there's a couple big old billowy clouds right here. Well, we've just about, about run out of time, guys, and I really appreciate you joining in with us. So until next time, we'll see you then. I'm Tony Ross. Join us again.